There's something socially and spiritually significant about the relationships between fathers and their children. Sometimes there's not the opportunity for them to spend time, just the dad and the child. And I think Who Let The Dads Out gives them that opportunity within a church context. It gives them an opportunity to spend time together, to have fun together. Who Let The Dads Out exists to inspire, equip and support local churches to set up ministries to reach out to fathers and children within their communities. We're not prescriptive about how it should be run. We just want Who Let The Dads Out to be a catalyst for engaging with fathers and their children and for building up relationships with people in the community. Because I'm at work all week, you know, you've only got a finite time at the weekends yeah. to, to do something, so... You know, this is a good opportunity. Nice for the, moms as well, but... the thing that dads often don't get is an opportunity to mix with other dads and talk to other dads. And that's what Who Let The Dads Out gives them. Right. It has been quite busy. It's uh, annual review time at work. Okay. So, uh, we also get the benefit of engagement with people from the church, people who can express God's love to them. Yes. It's your first yes. time. Hello, I'm Simon. Simon. Nice Hi. to meet you. And begin to build up relationships with them. Yeah, I never knew anything like this existed, so yeah, it's no, great. It's, it's been great. around for about 10 years now, I mean, and it tends to be weak. If the church wants to set up a Who Let The Dads Out group, I'd recommend that they start off with our website, find out where the closest group is, and go out and see what happens in practice. I genuinely think that Who Let The Dads Out can change a nation. I think if we turn the hearts of fathers to their children, and the hearts of children to their fathers, and we make readier people prepared for God, I think that can change a nation.